My name is Sultan Mtawi Al-Tahiri, the Acting Executive Director of Tourism Sector in Abu Dhabi Culture and Tourism Department. Good morning, and I appreciate you taking the time to speak to Great Travel News today. Um, we're here on the first day of uh, World Travel Market 2017. How's the mood in Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi Tourism this year? Well, see, comparing numbers up to September from this year compared to last year, we had a growth of around 7% which is a tremendous growth. Uh, I think that is because of so many activities, initiatives, our participation in exhibitions, our promotion, marketing, and also the project and event that we have as well. I see you now break the figures down into the three regions of Abu Dhabi. Is there a great deal of difference in what's on offer in each of those regions? So I think one of the main objectives here is we want to highlight that Abu Dhabi is the largest emirate in the UAE. We are almost 85% of the size of UAE. So we consist of three different regions. Each region has a unique selling proposition. So we want to assure that each region has its uh, key USP and also uh, numbers as well. So if you can go also in our stand, we have this distribution across. So we have uh, the, the stakeholder from Al-Ain region in one place, Al-Dafra and Abu Dhabi. So I think it's a way to show Abu Dhabi has more, more things to offer than just a break in, in the city. And what's on offer in the other two regions? The city, as you say, is very yeah. well established, very famous. What do you offer in the other two? So in the Ain region, for example, we have so many uh, registered, unique uh, uh, UNESCO uh, heritage sites. So we have Al Ain Oasis, archaeological site, and so on. So it represents more of the authenticity, the culture of the region. The western region, or Dafra now region, is more of the nature tranquility. Mm -hmm. So you have Qasr al Sarab, which is a five-star resort in the middle of the, of the desert. You have also Sir Banias and so on. So it represents represent more of the nature side of the Emirates, and Al Ain represents more of the authentic cultural side. Abu Dhabi is a metropolitan city with the beach, the museums, and theme parks, and so on. Okay, and in that city, it's a very exciting development. The Louvre is opening on November the 11th, by the way, just a few days now. Yes. It's been, uh, been long-term planning. It's very exciting to it's finally coming to fruition. It does. And again, Louvre represents a key message here. UAE and Abu Dhabi in particular, we've always been a cultural bridge of different nationalities, different, different thinking and, and, and beliefs. And the loop by itself represents the same concept. It's a bridge of different cultures in one place. So uh, I think it's going to be uh, uh, one of the biggest and most uh, important uh, tourism destination, not only in Abu Dhabi, the whole region and it will definitely help us in driving more traffic to the city. It's going to increase demand, as you say. And you're investing into infrastructure to make sure the, uh, the journey of these people is smooth. The new midfield terminal of the airport is, uh, is coming close to completion now. Yes. So we're expecting that to, to be within the coming three, four years, hopefully. Uh, see, to build a, a tourism destination, there are several components that need to be in place. One is the attractions, and why would people travel in the first place to visit you? Second is accommodation you need to have proper accommodation that is aligned to your target audience. But if there's no transportation, it's not going to happen. happen. And for that, we invested in uh, the midfield terminal, Etihad Airways, to enable people to visit Abu Dhabi. And there's 163 hotels and apartments, I believe. Are there any that catch your eye for 2018 that's uh, new investments that are particularly keen to promote? Yeah, we're expecting 10,000 rooms in the pipeline. So currently, we have 30,000 rooms exist and 10,000 in the coming three to four years. So that will be a big growth in numbers. And uh, we have also the plans to uh, increase occupancy. Okay. And just finally, I know you're very excited about the events that are coming up as well. You have the F1 Grand Prix in just a few weeks as well. Yes. So uh, in quarter four, we're expecting a lot of events that will take place in Abu Dhabi. The Formula One, we have the World uh, Diabetes Congress as well that is happening. The Food Festival is happening in December. And also, we, for the first time, we're going to have the, uh, the countdown village of the, for the New Year Eve with celebrations, uh, concerts, fireworks. It's going to be like a family destination. Okay, well, that sounds great. Hopefully we can come out and join you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much for taking the time to speak Thank today. You. Thank you.